An expected August jobs report is out right now showing signs of a cooling labor market. More than 140,000 jobs were added in August, but as Brian Abel reports, there is a silver lining to the numbers. The U.S. economy adding 142,000 jobs in August, coming in below economist expectations and signaling that hiring is slowing down. The Bureau of Labor Statistics report, however, showing a drop in the unemployment rate after a rise the month before. We had a red hot job market a couple of years ago. The unemployment rate sunk to the lowest level in decades, 3.4 percent. And slowly, the unemployment rate or joblessness has been rising. So now we have an unemployment rate that's still regarded as historically low, 4.2 percent. The Biden administration Friday characterizing the numbers as a sign of a steadily growing, stable economy. What we've seen by all indicators is that you know, sort of soft landing that everyone uh, you know, said, is that, is that going to be possible? Uh, you know, we think about it as reaching our cruising altitude. One piece of silver lining, according to some analysts, is wage growth continuing to surpass inflation. The reality is that people are now recapturing some of the lost buying power that was caused by the steep rise of prices going back to early 2020. And that likely means that the Federal Reserve's cutting of interest rates in mid-September is no longer a matter of if. The question is how much will the Federal Reserve reduce interest rates by not only in September but in the months and perhaps year ahead. In Washington, I'm Brian Abel reporting.